There was a time when I was younger that I truly believed that if I wanted something that I should go for it with full force. And although this was true for me in the business world and with school, it would get me into troubling situations in my relationship world. I thought if I liked a guy, then I should be forthright and show him, ask for his number, text him first, shower him with gifts, sweet messages, pay for dinner, the whole nine yards. And of course, after a man has courted you and shown you solid efforts through his actions that he's taking the relationship seriously, then go ahead and do all those beautiful doting things. But if he hasn't showed you through his actions, and I don't mean his words, I mean his actions, then why give him all of your attention? Why show him how far you're willing to go to please him when he hasn't chosen you? Hello, my name is Dr. Nicole Lunan and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mood Me, a new app that allows you to share over 400 and plus moods, emotions, and desires with your lover, thus making communication simple, fun, and super easy. So there was a time when I believed in chasing a man, but this was before I understood the dynamics between the masculine and the feminine and realized that the masculine is hardwired differently than the feminine. If we bring it back to the time where we lived in tribes and we had to survive off the land, men were the hunters. It was their job to hunt food and bring it back to the families as offerings. This hunting biological instinct has not gone anywhere. Masculine energy is most satisfied when they are working to achieving something. These days, achievements might not look like slaying an ox and bringing it back home, but it could look like making their woman happy or bringing home enough income to provide for their family. In the early stages of dating, this could look like getting a girl's number or sending the first text and instantly receiving a text back or having a girl say yes to a first date. This is the modern day form of hunting. This hunting and hero instinct in men is who they are. It's not something that they can hide or deny. They have a deep desire to prove themselves and conquer. For as long as humans have roamed the planet, they've been proving themselves to one another through wars and conquering land. And the same goes for love. Men who are interested in women are always trying to impress a girl as much as they can so that they have a sense that they've achieved something. They work hard to get the nice car, the nice house, enough money to take you on fancy dinners, not to impress other men, but to compete with other men maybe. But what are they all competing for? To catch the attention of a beautiful woman. The issue when we as women are chasing after a man, especially before this man has showed you that he's serious about the relationship through his actions, is that we are making it too easy for him. He won't feel like he needs to impress you anymore. Why would he when you've already handed over your power to him? He won't feel the need to commit to you. Why? Because he's already conquered you. He already has you in the palm of his hand and so you don't pique his interest anymore. He'll move on to somebody else who will provide him with more of a challenge. As women, our masculine energy works in every other part of our life, like making enough to buy the new car that we want or getting that new promotion. And how amazing are women right now in the workplace and at home? We are killing it. We get things done. We get them done right. We go after it no matter what it is. We have over time become hunters for ourselves and gladly so. Unfortunately, as women, hunting works well for us in every other area but in a relationship with a man. One reason that pursuing a man doesn't work is because that puts us in the masculine role. And where would that leave the guy? What room would that give him for his natural biological instinct to hunt and to achieve? There can't be two cooks in the kitchen. So that would mean that the polarity between masculine and feminine would switch. Therefore, he would then shift into his feminine energy. And that's not typically where men like to exist. And that's not typically where most women like their man to exist. Another reason why women pursuing men fails is because you launch yourself squarely into here's why you should like me territory. You're very innocently giving your power away and looking for him to validate your worth. This can also give off a vibe of neediness, which is definitely something that will warn men off. Remember, you're not desperate for attention. You are a badass woman. If a man doesn't notice this about you, then it's simple. He's not the man for you. He's not the man you're looking for. You're not going to attract a man's attention by trying really hard in order to prove your worth to him. You're not going to attract a man's attention by trying really hard and placing yourself in the hunter's position. You're not going to attract a man's attention by giving more of your energy and effort than he's willing to give you. He will take this for granted because simply put, men who are interested in women like to earn and achieve. 
Men like to be challenged. They still have this primal instinct within them and that's why they love the thrill of the chase. If they don't see any purpose in chasing a woman, they simply just won't do it. They want to work for it, to sway a woman. They don't want them handed to them on a silver platter. Men know that they have to work to get what they want. A sense of accomplishment is what they're looking for. And this challenging concept doesn't just apply to men. If you really think about it, everyone wants what's just a little bit out of reach. So then the question is, is how do you make a man chase you? When a man likes a woman, that man takes the form of a bumblebee and a woman like a flower. Like the flower, a woman is vibrant and beautiful in her own natural energy and will attract the bumblebee to her. She needs not move because the bumblebee will smell the nectar and attract to the flower. And how do we get our flower petals vibrant? We love ourselves. We do whatever activities or things that make us feel good about ourselves and we boost our self-worth. We understand that we are valuable just the way we are. And once our petals have vibrantly blossomed open and we are in full receiving mode, then the right bumblebee will certainly come for your sweet nectar. Men who are interested in women can smell self-worth and desperation from a mile away. They can tell when a woman is desperate and will not take this woman seriously or worse, they'll use them for their energy. They know when a woman's self-worth is high and they love the confidence. Why? Because you're holding yourself as a high achievement to be earned and therefore as a large challenge. This doesn't mean that you should be standoffish. This just means that as a woman, we have to learn to stand in our self-worth and allow men to make the first moves until they know that they're serious about courting us. And when they do get the courage to make an advance and play it up, be flirtatious, be talkative, show him that you're interested. But if he's not calling you, it's because he's not interested. If he's not asking you on dates, it's because he's not interested. This doesn't mean that you should nudge him because if a man really likes you, he will stop at nothing until he has you. He will have all the hours of the day to text you. He will make all the time for you. You do not need to take the initiative and often and in fact backfires anyways. You can spend all this time texting him first, planning dates, calling him before he's shown any serious and interest in you only to get nothing back in return but hurt feelings and questions about why he's not biting. That guy just isn't the right man for you and has nothing to do with you. You could be the juiciest and most delicious peach in the world, but that guy, he might prefer strawberries. Or let's say you're a woman interested in a man and you decide to hunt. You decide to pursue him and step into your masculine energy and take lead and it actually works. You get the man. But then this man now lives mainly in his feminine energy. And down the line, this makes you really upset. It makes you upset that he doesn't take initiative to plan dates or take you out or to make love. It makes you upset that he doesn't have enough money to provide for you or your family. That's because the man is existing in his receiving mode and not his hunting mode. Because you have showed him from the very beginning that you're willing to take care of everything, that you're willing to be the hunter. So are you currently chasing? If you're currently dating a guy that is breadcrumbing you, meaning that he's giving a little tension here and there, but he's not showing much effort, do yourself a favor and pull it back. The worst thing you can do is to try harder because that's just going to push him further away. It's not going to remind him of how worthy you are, rather the opposite, that you're not confident in what you have to offer so much that you're willing to chase him. Once you stop chasing him, it will give him a chance to actually miss you and really think about if he likes you or not. It will allow the polarities to reset and place you back into your feminine energy. This will not happen if you continue to send him cute text messages and pictures all the time. Don't check up on him and switch it up. Pull it back. You've got to shift your energy from obsessing over him to something completely different. And it won't work if you try to fake it because people can feel energy. And even if you stop contacting him, he's gonna know that you're thinking about him. So focus on yourself, date other people. If he wants you, he knows where to find you. Stay strong, stand in your feminine power.